In this lecture, we will discuss about Northern Blotting. Northern Blotting is actually a technique that used for the detection of specific RNA sequences. Northern Blotting was first developed by James Irvine and George Stark at the Stanford University. And Northern Blotting was named by analogy to Southern Blotting. So, Northern Blot are used to determine the identity, size, and the abundance of specific RNA sequences. So, Northern Blot protocols begin with RNA isolation and separation techniques that depend on RNA size. Large RNA are separated by electrophoresis on a formaldehyde agarose gel which prevents normal base pairing and it maintains RNA in a denatured state. And small RNA molecules are separated on a denaturing polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis and then RNA molecules are transferred from gel to the nylon membrane which is then incubated with the radioactively or non isotopically labeled RNA probes or DNA probes or oligodeoxynucleotide probes and then the unhybridized probe is removed by washing with buffer and finally radio labeled probes are visualized with x-ray film and enzymatically labeled probes are visualized with chemo illuminance. Now, let's discuss these steps one by one. The first step is RNA purification. First, we purify RNA from our target samples. After purification, the next step is RNA gel electrophoresis and denaturation. In RNA gel electrophoresis, the RNA molecules are separated through gel electrophoresis according to the size and RNA molecules are negatively charged so they move from negative electrode to the positive electrode during gel electrophoresis. Now we know that RNA molecule is single stranded nucleic acid but still here we include the denaturation step it is because of the reason that RNA molecules fold onto themselves and they form secondary structures so if we want to separate them on the basis of their molecular weight we need to bring them to the linear shape otherwise the secondary structure of RNA molecules will affect their electrophoretic mobility during electrophoresis. So, to denature RNA molecules, formaldehyde is used as a denaturing agent, and denaturing gel electrophoresis is used in this lab. So, after gel electrophoresis and denaturation, the next step is RNA blotting. Here in blotting step, the RNA molecules are now transferred from gel to a suitable solid medium such as nylon membrane and the method of transfer is similar to the southern blotting. After RNA blotting, the next step is hybridization and washing. Suppose these then are the RNA molecules on nylon membrane. So for the detection of this RNA molecule, first we need a probe that will bind specifically to its target RNA molecule. The probe can be complementary labeled RNA sequences or a labeled complementary DNA sequence. When nylon membrane is incubated with these probes molecule, then probe will bind specifically to their complementary 
target RNA molecules and the unbound probes are removed by washing. So in next final step is detection. Again detection and visualization method always depend on the type of labeled molecule we use for hybridization step. So these steps are involved in northern bloating. Now let's summarize the main step. The first is separation of total RNA or messenger RNA molecule from tissue samples and next separation of RNA molecules according to size by electrophoresis through a standard formaldehyde agarose gel. Next, denatured RNA molecules are transferred from gel to a solid support medium through capillary transfer. And next, RNA attached to the nylon membrane is hybridized to a labeled DNA RNA or oligonucleotide probe. And then bands complementary to the probes are located by an appropriate detection system, for example, by autoradiography. Now let's see where we can use this. they are used for the study of gene expression at the level of singer RNA transcript and they are also used for study of RNA degradation and also for the detection of singer RNA transcript size and RNA splicing and the study of RNA half-life and they are also used to confirm and check the transgene expression. So it's all about today video lecture.